so today I have got a little Lush haul for you, and by little I mean massive because I have quite a bit of Lush stuff, but I'm really excited about it and super excited to show you. So before going home for the Christmas break, I ordered some stuff online from Lush because I wasn't sure if like the holiday stuff was still going to be in the store, so I wanted to get a couple of the things from the holiday collection, and then I also went to the Lush store in the Providence Place Mall when I went home and got quite a few things, but I'm really excited to show you them and just talk about them because it's going to be a great bath time these next couple of weeks. So first I will show you the stuff that I got online and then go into the stuff that I got in store. So let's get started because I have quite a few things. So the first thing that I have on my list of stuff from the internet of Lush is called the Milky Bath. Milky Bath. So it's called this. It looks like this. So a lot of these things are bubble bars because I prefer the bubble bars to the bath bombs. I just like having bubbles in my bath. So I like them better. And I feel like you get more use out of them. So with the bubble bars, you can use them a couple of times. But with a bath bomb, you can use it once. So I think you get a little bit more bang for your buck in a bubble bar. So the first one is the Milky Bath, and it smells very good. It smells super clean. A little bit vanilla-y, maybe? I don't know, a little bit lemony. It just smells clean and delicious, and it looks like this. So, I got a couple of bu bubble bars with like sparkles on them, which is gonna be new for me, because I'm very OCD when it comes to like my bathroom being clean, and so I like scrub my bath and shower every week, which is probably excessive, but I do it, so I know that it's gonna be quite a feat for me to have a sparkly bath, but I'll make it work, because it's awesome. So this one smells really good, and also this one's supposed to be really good for the skin as far as like moisturizing, and I love the Lush products for my eczema because I feel like it clears it up really well and just makes it go away as opposed to making it worse, which some bubble products can do. But Lush has been great for my eczema. So if you have crazy skin, try out Lush stuff. It's good. So yes to that one. It smells super good. The next one on my list um, is from the Christmassy collection because I wasn't sure if it was going to be in the store. And I'm glad I got the line because they didn't have it in the store. And this one is called The Peeping Santa. And it looks like this. It's so cute. These are making my hands so messy. <laughs> but it looks so cute, the little Santa. And it smells like strawberries and cream. It smells so good. The eyes look like chocolate chips, though. I really wonder if they are. They look just like the Nestle's chocolate chip morsels. That would be kind of weird if they were real chocolate chips, right? I don't know. But it smells good. I'm excited to use it in my bath. And it's like the Christmassy collection. It doesn't smell anything like Christmas, but I'm okay with that. Because I don't really like the Christmassy scents. I like the fruity scents. So most of these are very fruity or like girly kind of scents. I don't really like the musty ones or the cinnamony ones. I prefer the girly ones. The next one on the list of things that I got online is the Candy Mountain Bubble Bar. Now I will say I was super influenced by Sprinkle of Glitter if you watch any of her videos. Um, she, whenever she does like a Lush haul, she always talks about this one and talks about how amazing it smells. And I was like, it looks pretty and everyone says it smells really good, so I want to try it. They're right. It smells like sugar and candy. Oh, it smells so good. I'm really excited to use this one. It has a little bit of sparkles and it makes your bath pink, which I am all about. Yes. To that one smells super good the next one was also like a YouTube influenced buy and it is the bubble wand so it looks like this it's so cute it has like this little bell on it and also smells it smells similar to the candy mountain a little bit stronger like a little bit sweeter but I'm okay with that and this one you like swirl in your bath and make bubbles I love that it's on a wand because the bubble bars you can reuse several times and I think the wand makes it really easy because it just stays there but like the other ones you have to crumble this one you can just swirl around in your bath and again it's pink so it's gonna make a pink bath which I am very excited about yum so cute definitely check that out Next are the things from the store. So I got those things online, and the rest of the stuff is from the store. So first I will show you all of the bath bombs that I've got. They're on top, or I think they might be mixed. But the first one I have is a bath bomb, and it is called Stardust, accurately named because it is very dusty. So it looks like this. It's this cute little star. It's white, and it has blue specks. I don't know if you can see it, but like blue sparkly specks. It is really dusty, <laughs> and it smells amazing. It smells kind of like buttery and vanilla-y. It smells like a cookie. Yum. It smells very good. So I think that one will feel nice on the skin and look good in the bath. Love the smell of that. So I'm definitely going to be using that one. I like the star shape as well. So cute. The next one I've got is a bubble bar. Yep, a bubble bar. 
And this one is called Bar Humbug, and this is also from their Christmassy collection, and it's this really cool purple color. I bet it's going to make the bath amazing. And it smells like lemon. It smells very lemony. I love the lemon scents, and they had a bunch of them in the Lush shop, so I went a bit crazy. But there's this one, and I'm sure it's going to make lots of bubbles and smell just so clean and fresh. That was Bar Humbug. The next one I have got is a bath bomb. So this one is called the Butterball. It's so pretty. Well, not pretty. It's kind of boring. <laughs> it's just plain white, but it smells so good. It smells buttery and vanilla-y and like a cookie. It smells like a butter cookie, which I'm okay with. Mmm, love the scent. <laughs> just like over here, like, mmm. <laughs> It smells really good, I promise. Go check it out. And that one's supposed to be really good for the skin as far as just like moisturizing and healing. So I'm eager to use that one just to like get rid of the eczema that I have because it's not pretty. So I'm going to use that to get rid of it. The last bath bomb that I have is huge. It's awesome. It looks like this. Look at that. It's white, again. But it has all these really colorful flecks in it, so I'm sure it's going to be a really exciting bath. And this one is called the Dragon Egg. And it smells like lemons. It smells so good. You know what it smells like? It smells like lemon pledge, which sounds weird because that's a cleaning product, but I love the smell of lemon pledge. And if you like the smell too, the dragon's egg bath bomb, I suggest because, wow, it smells really good. I am very eager to use that in the bath. I don't know when I'm going to use all these because I just want to use them all today. Not really, but I am going to be taking baths for the next several months, which I am okay with. Next up, we have got another bubble bar, and this one is called, oh, The Big Bang. And it is blue, and it has this pink star in it. It's such a vibrant blue. I bet it's going to be a really pretty bath. And again, it smells kind of lemony. <laughs> See a pattern? It smells a bit oatmeal-y, too. It smells good, though. And I am very excited. Look at how fun that is. And these, you just, like, crumble up and put them in your bath. So I'm going to have some pretty colorful baths for now in the next few months. Next up we have got, oh, this one is also a bubble bar, but it's kind of crazy. This is like far out for me, but I'm really excited about it. Look at this. It's just like a gold teardrop. It's so extravagant looking and smells like lemon. <laughs> All of them smell like lemon. And this one is called Sunny Side, and it's just this gorgeous gold teardrop. And this, I'm a little nervous to use because, wow, there are sparkles everywhere. It's going to make a huge mess in my bath, but I think I'm okay with it. Yep, smells good. Smells good. Clearly, I like the lemon scents. I don't need to wear lemon perfume, but if I'm going to bathe in it, lemon is good. And the last bath bomb I've got is like an old, or not bath bomb, bubble bar that I've got is like an old favorite for me. And this is the comforter. Look at this. It's huge. You can get like four or five baths out of this one. And it just smells so good. I think the, the label or what they call it is called um, black currant, but it smells a bit fruity, a bit sweet, a bit sugary. It's good. And this one is amazing because you can get so many uses out of it. It makes your bath pink, and it's just one of those scents. It's so accurately named as the comforter because you sit in the bath and you're just like, this is a really nice scent. I'm just going to relax, chill, hang out. So this one, I highly suggest. I think this is a really good one if you're wanting to try out some Lush bath products but you aren't sure. I'm not a huge bath bomb fan, like I said, because you can only use it once. But I do, the scents are amazing and I love what they do to the bath. But I think for like your money and like it going far, I think this one is a really great one to try out first because you get like five uses out of it and it smells just really nice and comfortable. So the comforter, <laughs> try that one out. But that is all of the stuff that I have from Lush. I hope you enjoyed this Lush haul. If you did, be sure to give it a like and a comment. I love reading your comments and hearing what you think. And as always, subscribe to my channel for more videos. It really helps me out. It makes me feel so special when you subscribe to my videos. So please do that. And again, just leave a like and a comment and I'll be sure to respond. But I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye!